Friends and family of Tembisile Lucia Yende gathered outside her home in Guatema in the East End to pay their respects to the 29-year-old female who went missing two weeks ago and was found dead at her workplace on Monday evening. Tembi, as she was affectionately known, went missing on the 17th of May and her body found in her office at the ESCOM premises in Guatema. Family spokesperson explains how she was discovered. Yesterday, I, I got a call. We were speaking to Tembi's mom. So they received a message from the police to say there is something that might lead to the case. So the family were quickly rushing to the site and then that's when they, they checked there. In terms of who found out there, I cannot account on that one. I cannot say anything. Circumstances surrounding her death has unfortunately raised more questions than answers. We also heard something uh, from the what you call security management to say the footage, the footage uh, does show Tembisile going inside the work. So the question is, by ESCOM we are told like there's no footage at all. So how come the security management would say Tembisile was so going inside the, the premises and then the, the ESCOM bosses would say no footage is available. So that poses a question. The unfortunate part is that she went missing on the 17th. The bike, that is her company bike, that she was driving on that day, was found in the premises, but she was not there on the 18th. So since from the 18th until yesterday, we want to know where was her body, where was she killed? Because on the 18th, the investigating officer with the K9 unit conducted a search in that uh, premises. They could not find him. But also, I am informed that this office where she was found today, on that day, the K-9 unit could not get access to this office because this office was locked. So the question is, why was this office locked? And on that day, why K-9 was not granted access to this office? Police managed to gain access into that premises. My first question when I arrived on scene yesterday, I asked the detectives there to tell me how did they gain access to that place because we were told that we must gain, gain permission. How did they know that they must go to that place? They told me that there was a prank call or somebody called the police station in Springs and it was reported that there was a smell in the office. Friends and family shared some of the last moments they recall with Tembi and how life will be without her. It's it's painful. It's painful um, knowing where we come from and what I've been through with her. It's I can't explain it. I can't. Yeah. I used to fight a lot with her about her screaming and laughing too loud and she loved dancing. She loved dancing. There's memories we have too. Family is very much devastated. Like, she was a breadwinner in this house. So the, she left a child, a, a very young child. Like, how can you grow up without a, a parent? That is very sad uh, as a young one. She was into people. She was so kind. Uh, she would do anything to sacrifice for her friends. Like, the family, the community will definitely miss Tembisi. Like, to show that this was a people's person, like, when people heard about her story, everybody was touched. Even now, people are crying, like, wanting answers, wanting to know what's happening to Tembisi. We were always talking about love, because, you know, she was so happy. We would see now. Finally, that side of her life is going well. So, yeah, his thing is Kumbulayo. Those were, were her last days. While police investigate how the ESCOM employee died, results of the postmortem will be released soon, and the family is hoping that this will shed light to the death of their loved one. Khotato Mokhale, Eyewitness News.